All right, it's Andreas Hale, senior combat sports writer for the Sporting News, and I'm here with the WBC 140-pound champion, Regis Progre, who fights Devin Haney on December 9th. Regis, bro, I just got to jump into it. How much do you like engaging in a war of words with somebody who's willing to talk trash back? Um, I mean, it depends, bro. Like, <laughs> it depends how I'm feeling, you know? Like, sometimes I, I talk and sometimes I don't. It all depends on how I feel and my mood at the time. Um, I... Like I really be trying to be quiet. I like I'm I'm good at talking, you know what I'm saying? But I really be just, just trying to like chill and be quiet and stuff like that. And save it for the fight, you know. And now I got my my one of my 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 coaches, you know, he's he likes to talk anyway. So it's like, all right, you wanna talk? Let's let you 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 can do it. You talk to him. But for you, this this kind of fight, um, you know, it's, it's a guy, you know, Regis, Pro, uh, Regis Program, 140-pound champion, has has given everybody hell that he's fought. Even the loss of Josh Taylor gave him hell. Devin right. Haney, a kid coming up from 35 to 40, wants to prove his worth at 40. This is a big fight. We don't get to see fights like this. Were you surprised at all that Devin Haney and you are actually having this fight on December 9th? Or did you think Devin might have went a different way? I, I'm surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely surprised. You know, I respect him for that because I'm going to beat his ass, bro. I'm going to bust Devin Haney's ass. You know, I'm definitely surprised he's coming up. You know, I see he's trying to do everything he can, bro. He's working with Freddie Roach. That shit not going to matter. He's, I saw he was hitting a heavy bag. He he put on some sides and stuff like that, but he hit the heavy bag. Bro, he was sitting down on his punches and he's still hitting soft. You know, like he might have been physically stronger, but... That doesn't that doesn't you know equate to to punching power. People think like oh just because you're physically strong that equates to punching power. It doesn't. He was hitting the bag. He was sitting down on that shit, hitting as hard as he can, and that shit still was soft. You know. So, um, I'm I'm listen, bro. I'm glad that you know for me they took this fight. You know, it, it's just gonna it's definitely gonna put me on the map where I need to be where I feel like I deserve a long time. Ago. That's what I was going to ask, man, because you are the champ. You are the WBC champion. You know, everybody's got a belt in this division. You know, Rolly Romero has a belt in this division. But a win over Devin Haney puts your name out there because I think you've always been one of those guys that a lot of people talk about inside the boxing circles, but outside of it, people go, well, I don't know enough about Regis Progray. Is he a top 10 pound for pound guy? If you beat Devin Haney, I don't think this is a question, right? You're a top 10 pound for pound fighter. For sure. for sure. After I beat Devin, for sure, definitely top 10 pound for pound. For sure. Definitely got to be. And what about what does this do for your popularity? Because obviously, you know, you know, being a good fighter is only half of the equation. But finding the right <laughs> opponent to sell a fight, you can sell a fight, but you haven't had the right opponent. You had to fight Josh Taylor overseas. This feels like the perfect fight for Regis Progray to become a star. Do you think that's the case as well? Yes, exactly, bro. This is it is I feel like this fight is me stepping into my superstardom. You know, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's me getting what I deserve. You know, I feel like a long, long time ago I became I grind and became a champion. You know, people didn't really know I became a two-time champion. Like the fight was the pay was a actually a big fight for the boxing world, but who saw it? You know, like because it was it was put on the wrong platforms, you know, it wasn't in the right spots and stuff. And you know, not that many people saw it. And that was a that was actually a really big fight for the boxing world, but people didn't really know about it. People didn't really see. So now this one is like me stepping into you know like my superstar, and where I feel like I deserve, I belong, like a long time ago. Do you also enjoy the idea that you're going back to where Devin Haney is from, and you get to fight him there and show his fans what they have to offer? Because maybe some of them don't know who Regis Progre is. Do you like that idea that you're kind of invading I, his territory? I love it. I love this idea. You know, um. Like for me, you know, I, I think I do better away. Honestly, I think I do better away and stuff like that. You know, I had to I had to fight my hometown, New Orleans, and it just, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't up to par. Well, I didn't even like to fight myself. You know, it wasn't like what I like and stuff like that. But going, you know, to Cali, and, and the thing is, like going, I I lived in Cali. You know, I trained in Cali. Like I'm back in Texas right now, but I was in Cali for like a whole month previously, just now. And then I'm I'm gonna be here for a little while. Then I'm going back out there. So. I love, like, for me, Cali is, like, where is that? I love Cali. So I was cool when they said, like, when they said that, I could have gave pushback, say, oh, no, Devin is from here. I'm not going there. I'm not doing this, not doing that. No, I said, that's cool. We can, we fight now. That's, that's cool. I'm good with it. Do you think because of that last fight was real and how that fight played out, do you think that is part of the reason why Devin took this fight, that they may think of that course. you might not be on the other side of your career? Of course, of course, exactly, exactly why they they burst they in for a rude awakening, bro. I've been busting my ass for this. I've been training hard, bro. I've been 
Like, since they said his name, I knew it was going to be a big one. And since they said that, bro, I've been training. Like, since r- really right after the Zorilla fight, I've been training and training and training for this. And I feel like, you know, they, they stepped in the pile of with this one. With the Zorilla fight, you said, you know, it was in your backyard. It was a switch of opponent at the last minute. What happened that night for you? Did you feel flat on that night? Was it that you weren't as motivated because of the switch of the opponent? What happened that particular night that we didn't get to see just, the best of Regis program? Just, just an off night. That's all. You know, you have off nights. You know, the thing is, like, in, in boxing, you're not supposed to have an off night because it's it's that it's just that one night. But in every other sport, you know, football, basketball, and baseball, you know, whatever, people have off nights, but they get to go prove themselves, you know, a few days later with us. You know, you have an off night, you can't prove yourself until a few months later, you know. So it's like you have to be perfect every time. But yeah, it was just it was just a lot going on, bro. Honestly, you know, personal things. It was just a lot. Just just too much going on. That's all. What do you think about Devin Haney, the boxer? I mean, he's undisputed lightweight champion. You know, he he beat Vasily Lomachenko, even though a lot of people said it was very controversial and close. But what do you think of him as a fighter? Is he as good as advertised? You think he's a little overrated? Um I, man, I don't, I, I can't say he's overrated, but I don't, like, I think, listen, I, I, I give him credit for just, you know, he became undisputed and stuff like that, but I think he, I like, for me, I think he had an easier role. That's all, you know? I think he he really had an easy role to become undisputed. Yeah, he beat Loma, you know, he beat Loma, which was, uh, you know, that fight was, you know, it, 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 it was it was a close fight with the Loma thing, and you know, but, um, I just think I can't say he's overrated, but I think he had an easier path to undisputed than than most people. I know we we kind of talked about his power, but do you think he has any power, or is it this this something that is like a a, a ruse? Like he's not he doesn't really have power. He just kind of talks a good game because he hasn't had a stoppage in a while. He didn't stop nobody. He stopped fifteen people, and you know who was it? You know he literally stopped fifteen people. Probably seven of them was cab drivers in Mexico. The uh, the other three was was um fucking <laughs> what up with that bartenders or something like that. The other two drove school buses. You know what I'm saying? Like who did he stop? He didn't stop. He literally stopped no one. He like I literally like I'm serious. Like he literally stopped no one. I can't wait till y'all see the face offs. We did a face off in L. A. And I talked about it. He couldn't say. Shit. He didn't have nothing to say. Like bro, who do you stop? You stop literally nobody. So he has no power and. Like I said, he he just put the he he got size now, yeah, but he's bigger. He might be he might be physically stronger, hitting weights, but that don't matter. You know that don't matter. Punching power that don't matter. So you know, still he's hitting the bag real soft. So for me, bro, that none of that don't matter. He don't have power. You, either you born with it or you not. You can't really develop. You can punch better, but you can't really de- develop power. And that's it. He ain't got no. At that press conference, you mentioned it, like your your strength and conditioning coach and, and his dad going at it. What were yeah. you thinking this whole time that these two were going at it? Because I know the, the look on your face was like, damn, are these two getting started before I even get to say a word. Right, right. It was just like, that's how it was. Like, let them go. Let them go back and forth. You know, let them go. Like, the thing is, my coach, bro, he really be like, he be telling me the truth. You know, like, it's like, even like how Eddie started it, right? Eddie was like, all right, Regis. What you going to say first? It was like, no, this not how it's going. He's the challenger. You ask him first, you know, and that's how that's kind of what that's kind of what it started off. It's like, no, like we not playing this. I'm already they already they already they already trying to treat me like the challenger. It's like, no, I'm the champion. You're not about to treat me like the challenger. I'm the one he trying to he trying to fight me. Yeah, this is this is the Bay Area. This is his home and stuff like that. But no, I'm the champion. He's the, he's trying to challenge me. So, no, we're not going to play that. Ask the challenger what he's gonna do first, you know, and 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 that's how I started. You 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 said he went to private school. <laughs> I was I was wondering what homeschool. He was homeschool. That's even worse. He was homeschool. That's even worse. The boy was homeschool. That's even worse. He wasn't what? private school. He was homeschool. Regis, what does that mean? Because I mean, for us that that grew up in you know in more difficult lifestyles or in different areas. You get a different kind of grit about you. You think that Dev is missing that because he was homeschooled, that he didn't get a chance to like experience life, that he was kind of maybe he was shielded from the things in life that make him a little bit softer. Is that what you think? Of course. That's what I think. Of course. You know, not listen, don't get it wrong. To become a me and my dad argue about this, right? So to become maybe to become a good fighter, you don't have, you you could be homeschooled in private school, but you just was shielded. I wish I could have that. You know, he 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 turned pro when he was 17. He had a, you know, he can, he never had to work. I, I That's another thing I brought up in 
one of the, the face of like, bro, did you ever have a job in your whole life? Bro, I really struggled. I really grinded. I really came up like that, bro. We like, we, we lived on the same street as like, like drug dealers and stuff like that. I saw all this, you know? So you were shielded away from all the stuff that I've been around. I've been around this my whole life. I've been shielded, you know what I'm saying? Like my whole life. I mean, he's been shielded his whole life from that. So I just think, you know, you know, he's, just sulfur. I think he's a sulfur kid. He was a homeschool kid. He was like sulfur. That's all. What does that say, though? Because I think in terms of hunger, do you believe that there's like a difference between a boxer and a fighter, right? Like boxing is like an art, something that you do, but some boxers got to have fight in them. Like Terrence Crawford has fight in him. He's not just a boxer. He's a dog. Right. Is that what separates you from de- you and Devin? Like when things get rough, you know what to do. Do you think he knows what to do when things get rough on his end? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. I don't think so. You know, I don't think, I think, you know, like it's, it, it, it might come at a, a time in the fight where it's the heart, you know, you have to show what kind of heart you have, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I don't believe he has the heart like I have. Not saying he doesn't have heart, but just being through the things that I went through, coming through all of the struggles and all this stuff, bro. Like I said, like I, like I used to fight for like little ass checks. I fought for a dollar before on numerous of times, you know, like his daddy gave him everything. He, you know, he he told me when we was at the thing, he told me he was like, yeah, I I, I quit school when I was 14 to, to become a fighter. I wish I could have did that. What you mean? I wish I could have stopped. I wish I could have quit school to become a fighter, you know, and had somebody to pay. No, I couldn't do that. Shit. I had to go to high school. I had to finish high school because, you know, that's what we supposed to do. And then I had to go get jobs. I had to work. I had to bust my ass to get where I'm at, bro. And I literally, like, the house I'm sitting in right now, I built this shit brick by brick with my own hands. Not literally, but figuratively, I built this shit, You know what I'm saying? And he did, he had the easy route. Like, I feel like he had, compared to me, he definitely had the easy route, you know? And that's why I feel, you know, I, you know, he just had the easy route. I know you alluded to the face off. What? I don't want you to give too much away because I want everybody to still see it. But what did you see in his eyes? Because it's a chance you get to sit across from somebody and look at them and see how they react. Did you get anything from him by looking at him in his eyes? Did did it teach you anything about what you may be facing on December 9th? No, when you get face off that far away, you know, it's sometimes people have confidence, but I think it's false confidence too at the same time. Because it's far away. You know, when we did the face off, we were eight, nine weeks away, eight weeks away. So, you know, that's a long time. but yeah, I don't I don't really get nothing from the face off. I was like smirking myself. It's just like, you know, because I know I can't do nothing about it right now. We just it's just like all talk. But you know, come fight night, that's you know, that's what really matters. What do you have to worry about in Devin Hay in his game? I mean, I've, I've talked to Ryan Garcia, he's always talked about his jab. He's got a really great jab. What do you see in Devin Haney that you're actually somewhat impressed by that that is different from other opponents that you face? Nothing. 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 Honestly, nothing. I feel like I'm going to shut him down. I feel like everything he's going to do, I'm going to shut him down. I really feel, I know this. I'm going to shut him down. And, you know, I know people talking about like the power versus skill thing. No, this is going to be, I'm going to show people this is skill versus skill. I feel like I'm faster than them. And I feel like my feet are better. I feel like all that. Like, I just didn't have to prove because I have power. I know I can, I know I can hit somebody and I know I can knock somebody out. That's all. So, you know, he had to, he has to box 12 rounds because, and he has people with punches and stuff, but he has to box 12 rounds because he doesn't have power. He has to do that. Like me, you know, like I have power. So I know, you know, I can get people out of there. I know this already. So um, I feel like, I feel like he's not going to be able to do nothing better. You know, even skill versus skill. People say, oh, he's skilled. He's this. I feel like I'm going to be better. This is always a bad question sometimes. You never really know when you get in the ring, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, Do you, when you look at him, how many f- opponents that you face that you think are better than Devin Haney? I know you probably yeah. think, do you right, know? Yeah. Like- I, I feel like it, well, I feel like power-wise, damn it, everybody. You know, I feel like Undango. Undango probably had more power than him. You know, Undango was a, a a damn unified champion. You know, people forget, like, about, even by, like my resume. Like, you talk about, like, a Zepeda, like a Josh Taylor. I fought Relic. I fought, um, how many, like, how many, like, People that was champions that I, that I knocked out, you know, that's the thing. How many champions did he knock out? Z- literally zero. He never knocked out a champion in his whole life, you know. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. On you know, I, I think resume wise, mine definitely is better. He's more famous and stuff like that. He has one on his resume. He has the Lomachenko on his resume, and that's it. That was a close fight. Go ahead. All right, go over there. I'm coming. My baby. <laughs> I was yeah. going to ask you, how important is it? Because you are a father, man. And it's like, 
when we talk about hunger and wanting things and wanting to have success, how life changing is this not just for you, but for the for the family, for the household? Like, how big is this fight for you in terms of like what can it do for your family moving forward? Well, yeah, after this, I, I mean, after this, you know, obviously we making big purses on this, but it's just, it's not even this, bro. It's 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 the fights that's coming after this. It's the big, big fights that's coming after this. Um, you know, it's it's gonna change like a lot of things. But at the same time, bro, I got like I literally have everything I want. I'm not gonna lie, right? Like I have every cause, the houses, I have all the stuff I want. So it's not gonna really right now, it's not gonna really change. Like even after the fight, it's not gonna really change nothing. Cause I'm not gonna I don't even have nothing to spend on, to be honest. You know, like Christmas is gonna be right after that. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give, you know, my family a good Christmas and give them good Christmas gifts and stuff like that. But as far as like, you know, what I'm it's just it's just gonna it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna do after it's gonna be huge fights after this after this Devin Haney fight it's gonna be it's gonna be real big fights after this. Are you concerned though that you might scare some of these people off? You might scare Roly Romero off or a Tiafimo Lopez after this performance? Or they have no, to fight you. They're gonna have they're gonna have to fight. They're gonna have to fight. I think listen at, at the end of the day, I don't think like I don't think people be scared, but people want money. People want a lot of money. That's why. You know, that's why it was so hard to give me fights earlier, even early in my career, even early, middle or later. It was always hard to give me fights because people want a lot of money to fight me and stuff like that. So I think that, you know, I, I know that after this fight that, um, you know, my name will be big enough to like, all right, he, he could generate a lot of money. So we'll fight him. You know, it's people at the end of the day, bro, I don't think the fighters are, you know, fighters aren't scared. They just want, you know, a lot of money for their work, basically more money, you know, the harder the harder opponent. They want more money for it, you know. And and now after this, whoever I fight, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big fight. Got you. Last question. I mean, it's early, but any chance you think this fight goes the distance? You see this fight in inside of twelve? I don't. It, it it could, but if it does, I feel like I'm gonna win it. I still feel like when people talk about the hometown shit, I still don't. I feel like I'm I'm gonna dominate. I'm gonna dominate. I don't care on every single aspect. I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna be the better man that night. Every single aspect. Like I said, bro, I've been busting my ass, but for months, months, you know, like a training camp, you're just supposed to start like now. I've been started, just, you know, like two months ago, I've been in training camp already and I've been training my ass off with it. So, yeah, it's, I don't think it's, it, yeah, I, I'm, I'm tweaking, bro. I can't wait for this. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Well, Reese, I appreciate the time, brother. Good luck to you. Um, hopefully, I get to speak to you again before the fight, definitely after yeah. the fight, however it turns out. But good luck to you and appreciate the time, man. All right, bro. Thank you, bro.